Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Pado once again and we are back to our analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, November 10 to 12, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set for today, Wednesday until uh, tomorrow, Thursday. We have the northeast monsoon or another surge of the uh, monsoon or the winter monsoon now affecting uh, extreme northern zone that includes Batanes, Babuin Grove Islands and uh, some portions of Cagayan Valley including Ilocos Norte so expect some breezy conditions of winds of up to 50 kph and with uh, cloudy uh, skies with passing rain showers across these areas on and off and sometimes it's uh, just uh, drizzles and uh, over the eastern sections of Luzon, Bicol region, um, areas of Bimarova, Visayas, Metro Manila, Calabarzon, and uh, the Visayas, we have the northeasterly surface wind flow. This is a weaker version of the uh, Amihan or the uh, northeast monsoon. We are also bringing some busy conditions of up to 30 kph. And we have here a, a surface trough. This is an area of uh, lower atmospheric pressure, elongated one. And it's expected to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across portions of the Bicol region, eastern Visayas, and eastern Mindanao. Meanwhile, uh, outside of the Philippine area of responsibility, we still don't have any developing low pressure areas. We have here a uh, long line of the intertropical convergence zone. So these areas of uh, convection will be closely watched for possible development into a low pressure area. Uh, since uh, the uh, uh, reliable computer models, the American model and the European model, suggest a possible formation of a tropical cyclone after November 15. So that will be next week. We could see a possible development of a tropical cyclone, but let's hope and pray this uh, potential system will recurve away from the Philippine Islands. So we will keep uh, attention on that system, particularly this coming weekend to early next week. So stay tuned here at uh, our Mr. Typhoon TV uh, video analysis. Okay, and if we uh, take a look at the uh, fast animation, there you go, the long line of the intertropical convergence zone, surface trough across the eastern sections of the uh, Bicol region, Mr. Visayas, and uh, eastern Mindanao, and the northeast monsoon over extreme northern zone. Here's the zoom in satellite animation for the past six hours beginning at uh, around uh, 11 a.m. until 5 o'clock uh, or 5.45 this evening. Here we go, the uh, northeast monsoon affecting uh, areas of uh, Cagayan Valley and uh, extreme northern zone and uh, some thunderstorms developing over eastern Visayas and uh, portions of eastern Mindanao due to the uh, uh, so-called uh, surface trough and also across the uh, areas of uh, uh, Samvangi Peninsula and Lanao provinces there are some developing localized thunderstorms as of this time and if you take a look at the uh, rainfall forecast accumulation for the next three days until Friday this is courtesy of the European model from windy.com weather app you can clearly see here the effects of the northeast monsoon bringing some rains across the uh, extreme northern parts okay, of uh, Luzon, including Cagayan Valley, northern Cagayan, eastern sections of Isabela and uh, eastern Cagayan as well. And also some possible showers in uh, some areas of uh, extreme northern Luzon, eastern sections of northern Quezon. Bicol region, the coastal areas facing the Pacific will have also some rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the uh, surface trough and the uh, northeasterly surface wind flow affecting uh, Mimaropa, uh, large areas of uh, Kalayana Island Group or the Spratly Islands and over the Sulu Archipelago and some localized thunderstorms across the island of Mindanao. So that's the forecast for the next three days. So expect this in the afternoon or evening. And if you take a look at the uh, uh, wind, rain, and pressure forecast from European model for the next three days until Friday, by tomorrow afternoon, still some rain showers will be expected across extreme northern Luzon, Bicol region, and uh, Mindanao. These are local convection. And on uh, 
Uh, Friday, the same situation will be expected across Mindanao, Visayas, and uh, Palawan because of the uh, uh, most likely it will change to easterly surface wind flow because of the uh, ongoing uh, La Nina phenomenon. Uh, much rainfall will be expected across these areas and also some showers across the coastal areas of the Bicol region. And if we take a look now at the latest uh, Global Tropics Hazards and Benefits Outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, this is valid for the next two weeks, which is issue, which has been issued early this morning. And for week one, valid November 10 to November 16, there will be above average rainfall expected across Mindanao, uh, areas of uh, Palawan and Sulu Archipelago. And uh, right here over the vicinity of uh, uh, east of Guam or over the uh, uh, northern parts of Micronesia, there will be a 50-50 uh, uh, chance or medium chance of a possible tropical cyclone development over here. And on week 2, valid November 17 to November 23, again, we could uh, be having some... Uh, 50% uh, probability or medium confidence of a tropical cyclone, tropical depression or tropical storm formation east of the Philippine Islands. So we are going to uh, observe or to monitor this uh, area of interest to the east of the Philippine Islands for possible development. So far, it's still at medium confidence, so it may come true or not. So watch out for that. So far, that's the latest. And if we take a look at the uh, forecast from the two reliable models, those who are asking if there will be a low pressure area or a typhoon next week, here you go. Let's begin with the European model. It shows here Monday, November 15, there will be a formation here to the south of Guam. And in the afternoon of uh, Tuesday, November 16, it will be already... Uh, a low pressure area, an active one, moving to the southwest of Guam, approaching Yap. And on Wednesday afternoon, this uh, LPA will become a strong one, or an active one, approaching the Philippine area of responsibility. And on Thursday, November 18, it will be over the uh, Philippine Sea, inside the Philippine area of responsibility, and likely this could become a tropical depression based on the... Uh, mean sea level pressure of this low pressure area and on friday that lpa might be uh, intensifying as a uh, strengthening tropical depression winds of likely 55 kph or much higher as a tropical storm approaching the eastern seaboards of uh, eastern visayas so it's only from that uh, forecast, okay, on that forecast that we are going to pause since the forecast of the European model is only until Friday. Most likely this will remain quasi-stationary because of a frontal system here, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's move this. Sorry for that line. Let's uh, make it again. So we have here the... Uh, frontal system. So this may be a shear line or a cold front uh, connecting with the uh, potential tropical depression on Friday, November 19. But take note, forecast of more than five days are considered low probability. So it's likely that it won't push through because the uh, forecast yesterday or last night, it shows that the track of this LPA is recovered okay without any uh, threat to the philippine island this is just today that it showed a uh, possible approach to the eastern shorelines of eastern visayas so it's still early to tell okay so many changes will still happen on this uh, system now if we take a look at the let's uh, let's go back to, to november 4 15 let's uh, move now to the american model so there you go american model is already a full-blown tropical depression 16 it will pass in the vicinity of uh, northern marianas uh, either in guam or saipan and uh, november 17 wednesday it will be uh, moving closer to the philippine sea november 18 it will start to recurve all through friday november 19 so the American model is much safer 
it's more of a recovery to towards that direction okay while the American uh, the uh, European model is uh, moving towards this direction so this is a big question mark if it will push through so we will keep you updated on Friday there will be some new updates on that uh, potential uh, tropical uh, cyclone formation for next week let's hope and pray that it will again move back to its previous forecast track showing a recovery in the vicinity uh, of Guam and Saipan okay so don't worry no worries it's still early to tell uh, we are focusing our attention on the five day forecast but if it's more than five days it's not yet sure on where it will go changes will still occur so there you go that's the latest from typhoon 2000 this is mike Pado reporting see you again on friday to give you more updates uh, be hashtag weatherizer uh, stay safe always and thank you so much for watching our channel